In this tutorial, I will show you how to do a height analysis based on the wheel track topography created by Pivot Maker. First of all, we will have to establish which surface has which values. So you can see project 1, that's the original ground, and project 2 is the ground model as edited by the Pivot uh, wheel track function. So first of all we need to do a depth difference session so we go to terrace cut and fill we make sure ground is one design is three I'm going to use grid area because I don't want to do a height analysis over the whole surface where they overlap I just want to focus on the pivot area the grid interval I'm going to make it five meters you can make it smaller if you need to uh, just to densify the number of points and then on the output parameters there is a add depths option which will add the depth differences to a separate surface which is currently empty I'm going to use project 2 for that and I'm going to indicate the area and I'm going to use GXD strings because there's already strings drawn in here so I'll just use that outside string that's then the area okay so the program calculates the complete cut and fill red is cut white is full or blue if you've got a white background and then green means there's no difference zero cut zero full okay I don't need to do any reporting right now now I'll activate project number two next we will triangulate so we go to triangle C search and then we will get rid of all the points that are not affected by cut and fill so we'll go to points ID do ID elevation and everything on zero elevation main ID delete now I have expressed areas where the earthworks will happen and finally we will do a height analysis so we go to analysis height uh, we can of course export that now into DXF the contours or the triangulation uh, that will be useful if you want to send that to a contractor that needs to do the earthworks or the earth moving um, I felt that the height analysis is just a nice way to visualize it so I've divided it into half a meter increments starting with our minus values for cut and for our full values and positive and just give it a descriptive name in some folder probably the job folder and then I'll put the legend down there and there you can see there's definite areas where there's going to be a high fill and deep cut and so on alright so let's see what that is ok so that's a cut cut area and this side is a bit of a fill right so it's very important that before you do this exercise that you make sure that your surface number three the pivot uh, the edited model is perfectly edited the triangles are proper and right before you do this exercise otherwise you will have a lot of false information um, in between spans and just to show you I can also switch on my contours only of that one surface and I want to change the contour interval to say 100 mil interval let's put our labeling on every contour and I can output that into a 3D DXF or DWG right here we have our plot and you just save it into a file and you can pick DWG, DXF, whatever you require and Let's just call this cut and fill. So. 